Hi students, in this video we're going to cover reaction E, the combustion of ethanol. And ethanol is a fuel source and we've discussed in combustion that it requires uh, oxygen to support it and typically your products are going to be, if you have just a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen fuel source, your products will be carbon dioxide and water. So if you're like me, I told you to use unknown A for your alcohol burner, so you may have done that, or you might have used rubbing alcohol, which is fine. You'll also notice in this particular reaction E or reaction 5 that <clears throat> you were given a little bit of ethanol. So go ahead and put a small spoonful of ethanol and you're going to light up your alcohol burner and then place the spoon directly over it to see what happens. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and do this. Actually, I'll just do it right now. So you how quick this is. Don't like to keep you guys waiting, like for you to take your time when you do it. I don't like making you wait too long, but you can see that I have the alcohol in there. Ooh, look at that, pretty. All right, so you ever see a flaming shot? Right, you see a flaming shot. And there you go. Now you can leave it and let that burn. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this because the alcohol is kind of going on its own. I'm gonna save my alcohol burner for future reference, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? So I would just let that go all the way until it completely combusts. And when the fuel source is gone, because we've learned limiting reactants, if there's no more fuel, there'll be no more combustion. So basically, once the fuel is completely converted with all the carbon combines with oxygen to produce CO2 and all the hydrogen in the fuel source combines with oxygen to produce water, it will end because of limiting reactants and we see it is gone and you can record your observation. Pretty cool. Chemistry at a home kit.